All right. I can already, or there's, it was something like, I can tell that I'm speaking fluently. The wind here is ridiculous. I, I can tell I'm speaking fluently because I am happy and good vibes all, all around. That's what I want to focus on. The whole message that Alex sent me is amazing. But what I want to focus on is this feeling. This feeling of my client feeling like he's fluent because of the state that he's in. I know you have felt this before too. And this is really why it's so fucking beautiful to overcome stuttering. It's not because you get to say words fluently. It's because you get to feel like this. And what this feeling is, is just an internal knowing that you're going to express yourself how you want. An internal knowing that people are going to be receptive to you. It's like, it's almost like you're walking on clouds when you're in this feeling, is it not? It's like, you feel like people are laughing at your jokes. You feel like people are smiling at you more you feel like people want to talk to you more you feel like people are inviting you more you feel like you're getting better outcomes better results better reactions from people it's not because you're speaking fluently it's because you're feeling safe to express yourself authentically it's because you feel comfortable with how your internal state is feeling right now and you can express that to the world without doubts or anticipation so it's real so it's you and it's authentic that's why you're getting the best outcomes that's why you're getting the most laughs and to get to this point <laughs> there's no fucking amount of reading out loud that's going to make you feel authentic there's no fucking amount of speech techniques that's going to allow you to feel authentic in order to feel authentic and in order to be put in this state you must, you must focus on the real root reasons why you feel unsafe to express yourself authentically sometimes. Because it's these times where you're going to stutter and hate yourself and be put in shame and just feel like you're inferior in comparison to everyone else in the world that can speak fluently. It's not because you're a stutter. It's not because you're a stutter. It's not because you're a fucking stutter. It's because internally you feel unsafe to express. That's, that's the pain. And that's what you need to focus on. And a big, um, I want to share a big reason why Alex was able to achieve this. And it's through a training I do inside my coaching called default setting training. What default setting training is is continually putting yourself in a more relaxed state not through the little fucking reading out loud small things that speech therapy teaches you but by bioenergetics by intense intense breath work it's not like and breathe slowly and deeply. No, it's you're releasing fucking tension from the body. And now when you're interacting from this new en from this new energy of re of tension freeness, of re of, re of relaxation, you now feel like this state you're in is you can express yourself authentically. Because what, what is there to hide? I feel fucking amazing. And this is one part, of, one part about it. Is continually putting yourself in more, re, more relaxed states so you can express yourself authentically. And pick up people want to see the authentic you and not the fake you. Not the you that's proving yourself or pleasing. That's one part. Another part of the training is learning to feel completely 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 accepted and the sense of belonging even if you're anxious even if you're scared 
Because if these emotions or these sensations or these energies in the body, you resist and you say, I'm not enough because of these feelings, I'm not enough because I feel this way or because I'm thinking this way, then you won't be enough. If you think that way, it's true. But alternatively, if you feel like I'm still valuable, they still want to hear me speak, I'm still fucking loved. I'm still accepted. I still belong here. Even when you feel these, oh fuck, I just, that last part actually got me emotional. If you can feel that way while feeling the emotions of anxiety, fear, doubt, if you can feel that way, they're not going to persist. These feelings, these emotions, they only persist the more you resist them. If you allow them to process in you, you get to express yourself authentically while feeling these emotions. And just like, Al, just like Alex's result here, why he was so fluent because he's feeling happy and all around the sense of good vibes was because he was expressing himself authentically. I will pound this into your skull until you realize speech techniques are not the way to overcome stuttering. They're not. They will, they will never be. The real way is addressing what is stopping you from feeling safe to express yourself authentically. There's blockages you've picked up along your childhood, along your adolescence, along your adult life that has concreted in that make you feel like you're not enough because X, Y, Z. That's fucking bullshit. You're always enough. And when you realize that, you will overcome stuttering. But it takes a process to realize that, not just realize it, but totally embody that these thoughts, these beliefs are bullshit. It takes a pattern way of living to reverse the old habits you have been ingraining inside of yourself that concrete the belief you're not enough and you need to do something extra to be enough. Fuck that. You are enough right now. That's it. You believe that. Once you believe that, through the repetitions of new ways of living, new ways of thinking, and new ways of acting, you will overcome stuttering. That's a promise. I love you. I'll catch you later. If you want to overcome stuttering, look at the closest link down below in the description, and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me because I love you, and it's free, and talk to you soon. Peace.